So guys, here it is, my 100 subscriber CUNY. Um, so, here we are, um, Nemesis 28, and Look. here to answer your questions that you have been posting on uh, my last video. So, we got a quite a good number of responses, a varied um, number of questions, and um, we're just going to start from the, the, the bottom and work our way to the top. So, um, Chris uh, K3211, um, he has asked, would you rather have a foot long nose or a foot long tongue? <laughs> so, I would go for the tongue because um, at least I would hide it in the mouth so you wouldn't know what was there. But if you had a big, if you had a big nose, it would be noticeable. My daddy, uh, um, what was that again you said? Why, why did I say I'd do this with you? Because my dad, um... Right, let's get in it again, okay? Um, so, we've got a, a couple of questions from Jen Jen, uh, Jen Driver, and um, Sniping Raccoon. They have asked, um, what's your favourite games? And um, have you ever beaten me in any video games? So, what's your favorite games? Um, Mario Kart and Mario Bar Brothers. And Mario Kart and Mo Mario Brothers, okay. And and this is it. Um, and what games have you beat me in? Tennis, tennis, and um, FIFA. FIFA and Wii Tennis. Yes. He's very good at the Wii. He beats me in Mario and uh, the beat, Olympics. I beat you on FIFA because I got 35 goals. 35 goals. You, so anyone wants to send look, an invite for to play him in FIFA, he'll beat you. Beat you. Beat you up. Beat you up. I'll beat Mr. Monkey up. Or, or... Really, really. Juddy and Ruddy and Mr. Monkey, he's coming for you. What would you want to be when you grew up? Um, a, a big man like Ruben and play football. You want to be a footballer? Earn lots of money? Would you give daddy any money? Only if you be good. Only if you be good, Dad. I'm always good. He's really old. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not rich. None of us is rich. I'm gonna be rich. You're gonna be rich? Yes. You give me some money then? No. <clears throat> so, Axgrad, Axgrad Gaming. Um, asked how much Lego did Daddy give you of his own? Three. So, Three that's how much Lego I give him. And then Mummy and Daddy had to buy more Lego. Three more Lego Three because. Thick. Three Three five. Lego. Oh, is that how many there's there? That's a lot of Lego blocks, so we could build a massive house with it. Massive yeah, house. Like this. <coughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Here, I snap him. Another another question that you got, Luke, was Mr. Monkey asked, "How do you do your flips?" And Super Pook asked, "She said that your your flips were amazing." So, Mr. Yeah. Monkey, Mr. Monkey wants to know how to do them. How do you do them? Um, you have to stand up like this, and then, and then, and then, when you jump, you do it like this, really high, and then. Um, Swanee has asked. Um, he wants to see some of her dance moves. Unfortunately, we just don't dance. We we don't dance. We don't dance. I want to put on the music. We don't dance. This is a 
pure mess. Pure mess. And so three other. Right, Rough Sack. Rough Sack has asked, what's daddy's funniest habit? What's daddy's funniest habit? What do I do? I have to stand up here. People can't see up there. What's daddy's funniest habit? Um, beastly, um, as I know my buddies, Husseini759. Um, what made you start making vids? Um, I used to watch uh, um, one of the commentators that I mentioned, um, JX23, used to watch him all the time and used to sit there thinking, you know, I play the PlayStation, I would love to record some of my gameplays um, and maybe set up a YouTube channel. So it all started from them. Um, how much do you enjoy doing it? Well, you've seen my vlogs, you, you've seen my gameplays. <clears throat> I, I love gaming, I love playing the PlayStation. I love making videos, I love my YouTube channel. I Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. But um, to answer Insidious Minds, he just put a, a video um, about what does YouTube mean to you. Um, is it about the money, is it about the friendships, so on and so forth. Yes, it would be great. It would be great if YouTube would would pay me a, a wage that I could give up my work and, and just game and look after my kids while I game. And it would be great. But it's YouTube. It could be gone like that. So at the minute, a hobby. I love just playing my games, uploading, uh, speaking to the people I want to speak to on Twitter, having a bit of a laugh, a joke. And um, yeah. If, if it went tomorrow, um, I would lose maybe some friends because of my YouTube account. But um, uh, you always have, have Twitter, <laughs> unless it goes belly up too. And then I'll just be talking to people who just don't know me. <laughs> uh, he also asks, which type of COD vids are you into? So I'm into montages, love montages. Um, I have made... Um, the boom series which is all using like the the hailstorm missiles and the lightning strikes and the hunter killers and bouncing baddies grenades and putting that all into a montage putting a cool sound behind it and boom um there's your montage i've tried sniping but um i am absolutely pants at sniping so i'll leave sniping alone for the meantime um which Call of Duty was your first? Um, it was the Call of Duty 4, which I, I do believe it is, it is the best um, Call of Duty. Um, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 was, was an improvement, yes, but you can't beat the Call of Duty um, 4. Brutal. Brutal's posted me a little, a little question. What keeps me motivated um, on doing YouTube videos? People liking, watching, viewing, commenting, sharing my videos. That's that's it. I could get 10 views in uh, one of my videos. I'd be happy with that. 50? I'll be ecstatic. You know, 100? I'm over the moon. I am so excited. My wife just gets it in the ear about maybe how well one of my videos is doing because the, le the least thing gets me excited about YouTube uh, because it's, it's a new venture I do for a hobby and if people like my stuff um, I get excited and, and I want to put on the PlayStation and record my gameplays and, and I'm getting used to the, the editing now uh, behind it so um, yeah I, I'm excited. Um, uh, uh, Cam has asked me um, where do I see my channel going. Um, I would really like to go into the commentaries. Um, at the minute it's just like montages, sticking a good song behind it but I, I would really like to get a put a mic on and, and um, talk through my gameplay and um, listen to the, the feedback from the people that I actually play with, hear what they're saying and um, I, I would say that's my next stage on what to do next. Right, so Superpook has asked um, if you had an Xbox, uh, what would your gamer tag be? As in like, what would your nickname be? I'm um, obviously Nemesis28. Lucas. Lucas, mm. yeah. Mm. That's your, your name in Spanish, isn't it? Yes. So there you are, Superpook. It would be Lucas because that's look in Spanish. Uh, the Mandy Cabbage. The Mandy Cabbage is asked, do I like Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke Zero. Do not like Pepsi. Pepsi is. He does like Pepsi. 
Pepsi. Pepsi is too sweet. I would rather have Coke Zero. Easy one. It's bad for your teeth. <laughs> it's bad for your teeth. <coughs> uh, Datnoid and Mr. Monkey want to know if I have bought uh, my next door neighbour's house um, to move into. I haven't guys, I have no money. But as you can see, I cleared out the garage floor for you. So you can maybe put like a mattress over here and a mattress here. I've already got your unit so you can put your, your socks and your trousers into. And there, there you are. A room with a view guys, room with a view. So back into it, um, my, my good friend Roddy, um, SR Productions, has asked uh, what was the first gaming console you got? It was Nintendo, um, one of the, the first original Nintendos that you push the, the, the game in and you press it down and you nice wee square controllers. So it, it was it was great, it passed a, a lot of um, a great childhood memories uh, playing that. Um, um, he's also asked um, who's the most sexiest Australian guy I know. Um, so because obviously Roddy you're Australian and that guy in HD is Australian uh, I wouldn't like to make a, that call you know uh, I don't want any arguments I don't want any YouTube drama <laughs> so um, Insidious Minds has asked um, what's your favourite game uh, when I started gaming when I moved to the off the Nintendo up to the Sega Mega Drive um, I played Streets of Rage so it was great, it was a platform beat em up, so uh, you could pick up steel pipes or bits of wood and call other people and yeah, it was really good, um, I enjoyed that. Um, he also asked where I keep my cookie jar, it's just over there in the kitchen, um, it says cookies on it, so uh, <laughs> they're not really hit. Um, so New World Shotgun has asked if I was locked in a room for life. Um, and I can only ask for three games, what would it be? So I try to think about this and uh, I want a nice wee varied amount of games. So I would go for um, uh, COD4, I think one of the best um, Call of Duty games um, that was ever made. Um, I would go for Gran Turismo 5, I would say one of the best racing games. And at the moment, FIFA 13, one of the best football games. So that's the three I would like. Um, it would be great if you could you know, still give me online play um, because that would just make them games still amazing um, just in case it was you would give me no internet uh, just a locked room with nothing um, so Doom Killer uh, has asked uh, what's your favourite song I would go for Kanye West Stronger um, um, it's a great R&B song and it has a wee bit of meaning um, in the early days when Luke um, was a, a baby um, he had a, a bad reflux so any time that we were in hospital, which was quite numerous occasions with him, for some odd reason that song always came on the radio. And um, obviously when we were worried as parents, um, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, um, like in the song. So uh, we would always have that little bit more um, of, of peace when the song came on. So yeah, that song, that song sticks in my head and um, that's my favourite song. Uh, Doom Killer actually asked, um, you know, who's my favourite uh, YouTube commentators and um, whose gameplay do I enjoy watching? All the questions I'm reading out, all the people that have, that have uh, uh, put a question in the comments, that's them. That's who I watch, that's who I like, uh, that's who I subscribe to. So yeah, there, there's three outstanding. There's uh, Terrible Pain. Uh, which I have give to Superpook for her uh, YouTube heroes. Um, there's JX23 and uh, Gamesprout. So um, yeah, th they're also the three extra ones that um, uh, they're too big and powerful to uh, put a question in my <laughs> for my Q and A. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the guys. Um, that guy in a state, um, he actually asked. Um, what has been my my best YouTube moment so far? I think he knows that he knows that that I'm gonna say uh, my clip, my uh, search and destroy clip, been uploaded to his channel. That was that was an amazing an amazing experience in my YouTube uh, not career. It's not really a career, but um, 
it's a great YouTube moment. Like, I went to bed that night. My my wife, I was near divorced. She was like, get the laptop off. Get the laptop off. Switch your phone off. But, um, because I just wouldn't go to bed. And then when I did go to bed, I just, I just lay there with my eyes open, just going, my clip is in someone else's channel. Wow, that was an experience. So, thank you for that, uh, that guy in his day. Um... That was a great. That was great for me. Um, he also asked, uh, "Who are the YouTubers that inspired you?" Um, you know, the, same again. The, the list below. You know, from the Snapping Raccoons that does the commentaries uh, to the Dat Noise to the Super Cooks um, to that guy and Steve to Rough Sack uh, to Doom Killer to Jen Jen uh, Jen Driver. Um, they they all they all have a certain appeal that um, if you check each wee piece of each one of them, you would have the the most powerful YouTuber anywhere. <laughs> and that, that's what I like. You know, it's it's the small community YouTubers that, that makes this experience uh, worthwhile. So yeah. Um, can you believe I've been talking talking so long with with no bloopers? Maybe people won't want to see that. People maybe Put it like this. When looks involved, there is blippers. So don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry about that at all. Kamish, um, he has asked me what made you start making vids for YouTube and what's your hopes for your channel in the future? Um, I have been watching JX23, I've been watching uh, numerous commentators. And um, with me playing, I was like, I could do this. I could record my gameplay. I could maybe make a YouTube channel. So I went on to Gumtree and seen a PVR, a hobby uh, PVR HD, and um, for seventy pound. And I goes, mm, yeah, I'll buy that. I might as well try it. If it doesn't work, I'll just sell the game. So I came home, uh, pumped it in, uh, I uploaded. I think it was Wii Sports um, Mario Mario Sports, the sprinting. I actually lost that game, but I uploaded it on the 3rd of October, and um, here I am now, just about to reach 2,300 2, views, and um, with 100 subscribers, so yeah, all from that 70 PVR, so uh, my host for the channel, I would love to bring in uh, commentaries on commentaries that I can, I can talk when I'm gaming, um, about topics that maybe I can, I can bring up, or that people would advise me to talk about, uh, my viewers, and um, move my channel on with maybe the wee face cam and the mic. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of possibilities that, that I, can, I can look at. Um, also, uh, um, I'm here in this Elgato, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, to record. So I might sell a PVR and, and get this Elgato um, gaming card. So yeah, that's where uh, I would like the, the, the future to hold my gaming. Let me see, Red Raven, um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? God willing, hopefully still making uh, commentaries and uploading to my YouTube channel, uh, um, having my family, obviously it could be extended family if uh, Mr. Monkey and Datanoid uh, come over to stay, but uh, uh, hopefully still here, still doing what I do. Uh, for, for the love of it, for, for a hobby. Everyone needs a hobby, and uh, I, I picked YouTube to be my hobby. So, uh, yeah. Um, would I support my son if he became a gamer? Absolutely. At the minute, he's, he's already playing FIFA 13 and scoring goals by himself against the computer. So, yeah, I would love uh, look to, to be an avid gamer like myself, that me and him can play. Um, but obviously, certain games, if it's going to be Call of Duty's, we'll just have to wait a wee bit longer until he's older. We'll just stick to racing games and football games at the minute. Just so um, I have two sons. Uh, this is Jude. Say hi, Jude. Hello, Gus. Hello. So, um, yeah, so it's not just Luke. I have Jude as well. And um, he's not really into... Gaming, he's more into Lego and building blocks at the minute, but I would say he'll become a, a, another gamer of the, the Thompson household. Um, and yeah, that, that's all the questions.